say for instance your relatives have come to your place to stay for a certain period of time because their house is being renovated so initially there were five members staying at your home but now there are nine members staying at your place after your relatives have come in so you can say that the number of people living at your home now has increased or in other words the population at your home has increased now what exactly do we mean by the word population so population refers to the total number of people living in an area now this area could be either a small classroom a concert hall or on a larger scale it can also refer to the number of people living in a city a country or the world at large so in this lesson we will be understanding the meaning of population and population dynamics now so far we have understood that population is the total number of people living in any particular area now the population may include a variety of people each talented and skilled in their own respective field right now people like doctors workers engineers people who contribute to the development of the country be it in science be it in arts be it the culture of the country itself now these people prove to be very important for the country right and they prove to be an important resource of the country as they help in the overall development of the country so we can say that skilled and educated people are considered to be the most important resource of any country and so they are known as human resource so humans that can contribute to the development of the country are known as human resource so it means that humans or people in any particular country who can equally contribute to the overall development of the country are called the human resource of that country the contribution of this human resource to the country can lead to the upliftment of the country it can turn a developing country into a developed country very soon so why is the human resource of a country so important so human resource ensures a continuous supply of labor to the country now this continuous supply of labor or people who are skilled and who are professionals at their respective fields can lead to a lot of benefits now these benefits may include the boosting of the economy the increase in the diversity of the country and thus can be very very useful for any country so human resource of the country is one of the most important resources that the country owns so till now we have understood what is population the total number of people living in an area and then we further understood that among the population people who are skilled and who are professionals can be very beneficial for the country or that particular area and they are known as human resource now you must be thinking why exactly are we studying population why is the study of population important well the study of population is important because population is ever changing right it is not static it is dynamic so the study of the change in population the change in the size the structure and the composition over time is very important so that the country can work on its people can work for its people for the better development or for future developments so population dynamics is the study of the change in population of the size structure and composition of the population over time so this is what is population dynamics now the study of population dynamics helps the country understand the needs of the people the interest groups and what exactly the country needs to focus on so that they are not lagging behind and so that their development is not held back so population dynamics is the study of how and why population is changing in size structure and composition over time now now there are various reasons why the population changes and how it changes right so as and when a baby is born to a mother it means that the 
population of that particular area where the baby is born it has changed which only means that each birth leads to the change in the size of the population in a particular area but we must not forget that on one hand where there are births taking place there are also people dying on the other hand due to various reasons so on one hand where births can change the size of the population or it can influence population on the other hand even deaths can influence population of a particular area so we can say that birth and death are important factors or determinants that lead to the change in the size structure and composition of a population however we must not forget that population dynamics does not only include the factors like births and deaths but it also includes migration how is that so as we have studied already in our previous lessons of migration that migration is the movement of people from one place to another to live in a new location either permanently or for a short period of time now if you wish to revise the chapter on migration then you can simply click on the i dictionary feature and revise the lessons accordingly so migration is therefore the movement of people from one place to another so if people are moving out of a country or they are moving into a country which only means that they are changing the composition the size and structure of the population so they are either decreasing the population or increasing the population or they are either changing the composition as there are different people from different places coming into the country or going out of the country right so we can say that these three factors birth death and migration are important determinants that helps in the change of size structure and composition of a population so before we proceed with our lesson could you help me answer this question which of the following does not directly influence population dynamics is it birth death government or migration yes the correct answer is government now you might be confused that why does the government not influence population dynamics no it's not that government does influence population dynamics but it does this indirectly and over a certain period of time that is it does influence the change in the size structure and composition of the population but gradually and not immediately so we can say that while birth death and migration are immediate causes that helps in the change in population or influences population dynamics that it directly influences population dynamics government does not directly influence population dynamics but it does that indirectly through its various programs policies its administration and various other such things so the correct answer here is government so we just understood that the world is densely populated though there is a decline in the growth of population expansion since the 1960s however there are regions who are very densely populated now let's see which is the most densely populated country of the world well i know that most of us here already have an idea that china is the most populous country in the world with more than 1.4 billion people as of 2021 so here we have china and it is said to be the most populous country in the world with a population of 1.4 billion people now india is not too far india is the second most populous country in the world with a population of 1.39 billion people so while china is topping the list india is right below china and it is the second most populous country in the world with a population of 1.39 billion so population is not equally spread across the world people are unevenly spread across the world there are some places that are highly populated well there are some places who has a low population for example countries like india are highly populated while countries like canada are less populated so we can say that the manner in which people are spread across a particular region is different and this is known as population distribution now 
If we consider the continents of the world, we know that there are seven continents out of which Asia is most populated among all the other continents, while South America is least populated among all the other seven continents. However, we have not taken Antarctica into consideration as there are no permanent inhabitants. So, Asia that lies almost in the Northern Hemisphere and entirely in the Eastern Hemisphere is most populated continent of the world, while South America that lies in the Western Hemisphere completely and almost in the Southern Hemisphere is least populated. This only means that the population distribution is uneven across the world. People are unevenly distributed across the world. There are places that has a high population and then there are places that has a low population. So in this lesson, we were able to understand the meaning of population and population dynamics. Now population dynamics is the study of how and why a population changes in size, structure and composition over time and space. We further understood that among the population, people who are skilled and who are professionals in their own field are considered to be the most important resource of the country and therefore they are known as human resource. The human resource is important for any country as it helps in the continuous supply of labor which helps in the overall development of the country. We further understood that people are not equally distributed across the world and we further understood that the population distribution is uneven across the world. In our next lesson, we will understand the meaning of population density. We will understand the difference between population and population density of a particular area. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.